Dave Anthony and we're getting ready for the second annual Steinback Pistons Skills Competition presented by Coffee Culture. Now before we get the skills competition underway, we got to pick teams. So like last year, we've got the captains to help select. we got Jordan Bohinski, Julian Koga on one side, and we got Tyler Anderson and Ryan Carlson on the other. Now both teams are going to go back and forth with draft picks and they're going to give a little bit of information on each player they pick. Wow. So uh, for our draft, we're going to be picking uh, you know, guys that we think are going to fit well with our program. There's a lot of guys in there that we don't really like. Um, so we're just going to pick guys that, uh, that, that we do like and uh, that we think can fit well with us. Uh, to put it simple, I mean, there's lots of duds on this team. And you know, we want to have a team that is all beauties. And that's basically what we're going to be going for. So uh, yeah, that's it. You know, we're really feeling about some lunch pail players. And, uh, Guys are gonna do whatever it takes to win. Yeah, Andy said it all right there. Uh, definitely, guys that will do whatever it takes to win is what uh, what we need on our team. Team White here. To decide who picks first, we're gonna flip a Steinback Pistons uh, and Coffee Culture puck. So, boys, Jordan, you're the captain, so you can call it. All right, we're gonna call Coffee Culture. Yeah. Okay, so that's Coffee Culture, guys. You get the Pistons, Pistons. logo. Are you ready? Pistons, everyone. So it feels. It's the Pistons, so the boys in white are going to get the first selection. All right, it's key selection here, guys. Okay, uh, with the first overall pick, you know, uh, we're very proud to select a guy that uh, we call Mr. All Around. You know, he does it all, and uh, that's Joseph Leonidas. That's a nice selection early on as Jordan Bohinski, Julian Koga reeling after Leonidas taking off the board. The defensemen stick with the defensemen. And a handsome one at that. It's a good looking team already over there on the Carlson Anderson side. Alright, how are you guys gonna answer? Are you gonna think breakaway? Hardest shot? Which we are gonna take it. We're gonna take a guy. His uh, his gameplay speaks for itself, but more importantly he's a good guy. And he's a great person off the ice. And I've never met anybody who loves the game more than he does. And uh, Yeah. And uh, just the way he takes care of his body and you know rolling out and uh, doing all the proper stretches and stuff. We're gonna take from Guatemala, Mexico, Mackenzie Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he might go last. I still think Bohinski's going last this year, even though he's a captain. He still might go last. But they take the man from Toronto. Well, we uh, might be going away from uh, the best looking team, but uh, hard to say that's my roommate. But we're gonna go with uh, Drew Anderson for a second. Second uh, next year. Ooh, he's got some wheels. They might have the fastest skater all sewn up there unless Bo puts on them fire skates again. Uh, all right, guys. Julian, Jordan. Uh, you know, this guy's, um, we, Coach and I said initially, we're going to take guys that we like. And uh, so far, we don't like any of that team. We actually like this guy, though. We're going to take uh, Bradley Schoonbart. He goes a little bit lower than predicted, but Bradley Schoonbart does get selected. More for his dance moves than perhaps his hockey ability. But the man they call Scooby has been selected. Um, obviously, it's, it's important to have a crowd behind you, so uh, we're going to pick the, one of the only two local-ish guys, and the guy with a great wrist shot. He's 20 years old. He's seen some games away. We're going to go with uh, Bloom North's own Landon Plett. Well, that's a good selection, as he's going to get the local Bloom North crowd on their side. That's a good sneaky selection from the Anderson Carlson pairing there. They seem pretty happy with their team so far. Julian, Jordan, how do you answer? Um, pretty easily actually. I was gonna guy who's got a hard shot, and again, he's a beauty, and those guys are all duds. So we're gonna take White Henson. The toughest looking Steinback piston by a country mile. White Henson. Three goals in his last two games. He's on fire, and he's gonna carry it on in the skills competition. Okay, there's a lot more strategy going on to my left than there is to my right, and I'm not really surprised. <laughs> All right, Ryan, what do you think? See, look at they're whispering. You guys, do. Well, now they're making dinner plans. They don't even. They're not picking guys. Ooh. All right, some serious thought. What do you, right, well, what do you think? Yeah, well, you know, we went with the hometown guy uh, last time. We're gonna stay stick with the hometown, so we're gonna have the crowd on our on our. On our side, we're going to go with Darby Gula. Well, that's a, that's a big time pick there. That's a, that's a tough go for the Julian Koga Bohinski side there. Is fan favorite, local good guy, Darby Gula. All right, you got uh, you got a pretty good team so far, Bo, but uh, what are you missing? 
Yeah, we're, we need a defenseman, so we're going to... Uh, <laughs> right now we got five forwards on a single defenseman. So we're actually we're going to counteract with uh, a guy who thinks he's got a lot of skill. Uh, you know, he's kind of weird, but we like him. Uh, we're going to go with the second Graham. We're going to go with Declan. Oh, so it's a team of Grahams. That's why we can't take Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, if you're out there, we would, we would have taken you if you're in this draft. <laughs> All right, guys, so they're going with guys from the six. How do you guys answer with your seventh pick? Well, we're going to go with a guy that's from the province of the six, and we're going to go with Carter Charney. And uh, we think he's a... Uh, he could be the dark horse of this yeah, whole competition. You know, he's got some soft hands, and, uh, you know, there's a shooter competition. I think he can show well. Wearing Jonah Wasilek's old number 16. Well, similar players. <laughs> yeah, just for the height and hair. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, for this next guy, Bo and I both have, uh, we go way back with him, and uh, we're going to take Ray Pertil. Yeah. Oh, he is excited. Good, char good character guy, played in the Western League, he's got a lot of experience he's going to bring to us. Um, yeah, he's got a great body too, great guy. <laughs> what, what is your fascination with the physicalness it's of your strength. Team? It's just strength, that's all it is, it's just strength. Shot, strength. <laughs> Alright guys, well I'm uh, going to go with a uh, guy from good old Minnesota, played high school hockey, you know, got to go with a guy that played high school hockey and in the XL Energy Center, Jack Johnson. Oh, that's a good pick there. That's a good pick out of Minnesota. Minnesota boys. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't think Bohinski's going to be last this year, but uh, we still got both goalies. We got Davis Beauchamp. Mark Terrace Chuck. <laughs> I mean, there's some money being passed around right now as yeah. to who might be last. We well, got, uh, we'll be, we're gonna go through the picks, yeah. We got uh, Will Coop, Vaughn Dupre, of course Matt Radomski and the man they call Grandma, Tyson McConnell, who may actually still be driving to this event. It takes him a while, but <laughs> Okay, boys. Well, those guys have a lot of mean players on their team. They're <laughs> mean people, and so we want someone who's nice. I don't want. I don't want that team. So, uh, with that, we know guys gonna be cheering for nice people because I like nice people. I don't know what everyone else. I don't know what everyone else, but I like nice people. I don't coach this too. We're gonna go with the guy who's uh, who's a man after my own heart. Loves to talk. Loud guy. He's gonna bring a lot of energy to our lineup. We're gonna go with uh, Davis Beauchamp. Well, that's a that's an off the board surprise pick if there ever was one. But Bohinski goes with a long name that starts with a B, just like him. What? Well, it's a funny looking picture of him, though. Eh? Like... All right, another defenseman's off the board. Uh, well, I, I don't know. I think we're gonna take the, probably the most valuable player so far this year, and uh, you know he might not bring a lot to the table in this competition, but. Hey, he's a good room guy, and we're going to go with uh, Roland Bender, take the first goalie. Oh, that's a big goalie. Oh, you know, we can't go wrong with either goalie, but they go with the 20 year old. He's not that good. He's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, this way. Other than, than Bo, probably. Other, <laughs> other than Bo. Yeah, so actually, we're going to counteract. Like, he says Benny's been the most valuable, I think. I thought I, I thought I had a great year so far. But <laughs> we're gonna actually going to go, we're going to open up. You finish this one off. How do we uh, counteract that? I mean,. It's pretty simple. He's playing for Team Canada right now. Not so. a lot of people get to play for Team Canada. So William Coop, I mean, he's gonna bring a lot to our team, and he's a beauty as well. Very nice, very nice. I sense something could be afoot here. Last year, of course, we remember what happened last year. Jordan was picked last, in case you didn't know. But then we also had to have a trade because Danny Boss decided to get a little cute, pick both goalies. We'll see what uh, the Carlson Anderson pairing have in store. Uh, well, this guy, you know, won a championship as in midget, so we're gonna go with Tyson, Tyson McConnell, the Colonel. Go uh, find a way to win. <coughs> the, pride the pride of, of Pilot Man. Morton Manitoba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you're uh, running low on picks here. Yeah, I mean, although we could with this team, we could win without a goalie. Uh, we could, but uh, we <laughs> actually we're gonna take a wild alumni. Uh, Coach and I both played for the Whipping Wild. We're going to take uh, Matt Rudofsky. He's a great goalie, actually. Okay, so we're down to two after Matt Rudofsky goes. Okay. Um, you know, 
I also played for the Wild, Dave. You did? You so, were the captain, uh, if I remember. I was the captain of the Wild, and um, for those that, that didn't know, in my first year, uh, Mark Tereshop was actually my captain, and we beat Eastman Selects in the finals. So I'm going to take a player from Eastman. Juan <laughs> 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 Dupree. Juan Dupree goes to the Carlson Anderson pairing, and uh, well, there's one player left. Um, we're not really, we're not really excited to have this player on our team. Well, this is tough for you guys. Like we said, we wanted beauties, and this guy is definitely not that. He's a mean person, <laughs> and he doesn't not bring a lot to the table. I don't. I don't know if uh, I don't know if we want this guy. <laughs> We'll put him in the middle. Yeah. We'll take uh, we'll take Mark Terrace Chuck. So there you have it, the second annual Steinbach Piston Skills Competition presented by Coffee Culture. The teams are set, now we just need you to come on down. If you're 18 and under, you get in for free, so come on and join the Steinbach Pistons for what's going to be a fun night on January 2nd. Awesome, good job. Folks think that you're going to steal their lunch money as well as take, uh, take a big chunk out of them. How do you respond to being the bigger, stronger team? <laughs> To be honest, I love it. I love that we're the fear team of this uh, the skills competition. You know, uh, everyone knows what we bring to the table, and that's a bunch of winners. And uh, that's how we, we picked our team, and that's how it is, plain and simple. Yeah, we picked our team, nice, big, strong guys, and we're going to do whatever it takes to win, and uh, that's that's why we picked the players we picked. You guys got the first pick. Did you get the team you wanted? Oh, yeah, for sure. They didn't, they didn't make, uh, I mean, I, we didn't have to make one hard decision. We knew exactly what we were going to do from the from draft one to number six or whatever. We, we felt in control the entire time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, rightfully so, because they had last year's last overall pick in Bo, mm -hmm. and then this year's last overall pick in Mark Tereshuk. You know, a couple last overall picks, yeah, it doesn't help your team very much. And uh, to be honest, I think it hurts them. And uh, they're, they're, I know they're talking about love in their dressing room when they were walking around, but uh, no, love doesn't win championships. Yeah. And talent does. Yeah. And that's what uh, talent and effort is. That's what we bring. Okay, boys, uh, you got a lot of nice guys on your team, but they say nice guys finish last. How's that going to change on January 2nd? I'm, I disagree with that. I think we're going we're gonna to beat them, and we're not just going to beat them, we're going to kill them. And uh, it's going to feel good because, like we said, they're a bunch of bullies, and it's time to stand up to them. All right, uh, how did you guys decide on your team? Did you have a strategy going in? Did you get the team you wanted? <laughs> yeah, we got the team we wanted. You know, we got, we got guys that we like. We don't like that team. Right? We got guys that really like on our team. I like Cogs. Cogs loves me. I know all those guys on this team, they love us. They love us, they're going to look up to us, and we're going to be successful. They got a tall team. They're a bunch of big guys, but uh, how are you guys going to fight back? With a lot of heart? Well, I mean, there's no competition that measures height, so it's going to be <laughs> speed and goal scoring, and that's what we got. You also got Mark Terrace, Chuck. You, you got him. You, 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 you got him. Yeah. How are you going to utilize him? Have you thought about that? Um, you know, we're not sure yet. I mean, he's going to be good with the kids. He can talk with them and stuff. So um, we can put, we're can we going to have him on the bench to start. And uh, if he's not acting up, then maybe he'll get into um, a couple laps in. In a three on three, maybe. We'll see. Good job, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs>